In the animal world, if you are not at the top of the food chain, most will try to eat you to survive. In these conditions, you must be able to hide quickly or be as creative as possible. The eel, for example, can generate high voltage pulses. What do you think can happen when a ferocious predator, for example the alligator, attacks an eel? Let's find out who wins this fight. If you ever touch a 9 volt battery with your tongue, you will find that the electricity tastes bad, but never try that. But instead, imagine what sensations you can feel from a simple touch of the electric eel. Its discharge power can be even 860 volts. A while ago, scientists believed that there are only one species that emit electricity, but in 2019 two more species belonging to this family were found. If we eliminate the fact that they look striking, the electric eel is not related to the usual eel. Not much is known about the life cycle of these species, even how they reproduce, but it is well known that these fish hide in places where it is almost impossible to find them. After a while, they return to the sea with their cubs when they are already old enough to emit some electric discharges. Some sources suggest that to create nests, electric eels use their saliva, and what is most surprising is that each laid egg has another 17,000 small eggs. Amazing, don't you think? Interestingly, the attack of these creatures consists of 4 or 8 downloads, but they are short and last 2 or 3 milliseconds. See how the eel behaves when approaching potential prey. The fish to be eaten simply freezes in the water, and the eel attacks very easily. It can open its jaws very wide and swallow fairly large fish, carp and even octopuses, and sometimes it can eat even larger fish as in this video. When he can't swallow it, the eel goes inside the fish and comes out as if nothing happened. Amazing, don't you think? Now just imagine, the length of an electric eel found in the waters of the Amazon was 2.5 meters, and its weight was 20 kilograms. As you can see their skin is smooth and without scales, the trunk elongated and rounded in front. Their appearance is of course trivial, but the emerald green eyes save the situation a bit. Talking in more detail about how their body is built, we don't think it's very interesting, but we will pay a little attention to the electrical organs. Imagine, they occupy four-fifths of the length of the body. It's hard to believe, but this fish is capable of generating an electrical discharge of 860 volts and up to 40 milliamps. They use this special feature to protect themselves from enemies and to paralyze prey. Where are the electric eels? In the rivers of the northeast in South America, and also in the tributaries of the middle and lower areas of the Amazon. They like swamps and areas where are many lakes, ponds, and small rivers that will eventually fill with vegetation and turn into swampy areas. They feel best in dirty water because they can hide and rest. As I said earlier, electric eels hunt small fish, but turtles and lizards can also become victims. Even caiman and anaconda are kept very far from these power plants. Of course, there are situations in which young alligators try their luck, but still in a fight with these eels they mostly lose, leaving themselves with a few strong electric blows. Just look at this fight, and you would think a fish can't do such maneuvers and win in front of a predator much bigger than him.
But when the eels are attacked by caimans and mature crocodiles, the chances are still equal and sometimes the reptiles finally have the opportunity to eat these delicacies at dinner. The electrical organs of these fish help them orient themselves in space. They are powerful hunting weapons but also the necessary protection. The eels are some of the two creatures capable of paralyzing and even killing a human. The other creature is the electric sea cat. It takes a lot of experience and knowledge to hunt an electric eel but also increased attention otherwise you can get seriously injured by the electric shocks synthesized by them, and never do what the man in the video does. Here we have some persons who are ready to risk their own lives and health for fame and money. Like this girl, who in a TV show had to pull a key from the bottom of the aquarium full of electric eels. It has long been known that an electric eel can kill a horse, but what about a dog? Yes, they can meet in the wild, but on land. These two dogs were lucky considering that the contact was quite close. However, they managed to escape with their lives. And now watch this video clip. People did not know that there were electric eels in those waters, and they passed by on horseback. Here's what happened. Fortunately, however, everything ended well. Scientists have been testing their electrical power for decades, and each time the results are different, but one is certain. The eels can kill the victim which can be several times larger and it doesn't matter if it happens while protecting or attacking. In 1800 the researcher Alexander von Humboldt was completely fascinated by this mystical creature, and later in a remote village in Venezuela, he made a series of brutal experiments to test their electric force. He didn't just use devices, but also tried to describe the interaction with the fish by touching it with his bare hands. He said his muscles ached for two days. So if you're going on an Amazon trip, you know what to expect, so be careful. <laughs>